it started really with a gift that uh, our life trustee Barbara Kipper promised to the Art Institute of jewelry and ritual objects from across Asia. She wanted to collect from people who were not in the mainstream. Here we are getting objects that are much more from marginalized people, the original inhabitants of tribal, nomadic people. The Art Institute of Chicago has a great collection of Asian art. And Barbara and David Keeper's collection somehow uh, cover a different range. Those are everyday objects very much used in daily ritual and uh, festivities. The objects in the exhibition range from the Himalayas to the remotest parts of Asia, across Central Asia, all the way to the forests of Indonesia. The power of stones, the power of these um, objects, the amulet cases, the crowns, they're all part of a world where jewelry had a role. It was either a signifier of who you were in society, it helps define your tribal affiliation, um, or the importance of jewelry from an economic perspective to give a young woman her independence. The visual power of the objects lead us to ask questions. And it's through that process of inquiry when something has captured us and made us say, wow, what is this? That then we learn. And so I find these objects to be incredibly powerful educational objects in that they can lead us to really important questions about culture, about the role of ornament in our lives, and at the same time capture our imagination in terms of what humans are actually able to produce with, through the act of creativity you can actually see uh, so much more of people's life uh, in these daily objects. I think that we, uh, we are really doing something new and uh, meaningful in the museum.